Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another Minecraft video, um, but this is slightly different, this is more of a Minecraft slash from the depths video, as this is a tutorial on how to convert uh, ships or general objects from from Minecraft to from the depths. Um, so basically this is all for PC users, so um, what the tools you need, you're going to need world edit and uh, all things wonderful like that. Um, so basically what you want to do to convert well, to start the uh, process, you're going to have to create a schematic of the vehicle or object you're wanting to convert. Now, I've already got uh, this ship converted in from the depths, but I'll do it again for the uh, purpose of the video, as it's the smallest ship I have <laughs> available. So what I'm going to do, we've got a block up here to uh, start the process. So we'll go from this block here down to uh, a block on the uh, ground just in front of the ship. So basically going diagonally across down to the bottom, just getting the whole object in I'm sure a lot of people know how to do this anyway, the schematic part, but uh, we'll do this anyway. So we're now on the ground, put a block there, and we'll copy from there. So that's from point A to point B, or wh whichever, and then we go slash slash copy, and that's the vehicle copied, and then we want to do forward slash forward slash again, and then we're going to do the schematic. So we go C, no, S, C, H, skim, uh, S, C, H, E, M, and then save, and then M, C, edit, like that, and then the file name we're going to call it uh, Shippy, I think. S A H I P P Y, and that is the vehicle saved. So that is Shippy saved, and that is pretty much it. All you, all you need to do in Minecraft. So we can close Minecraft now. So uh, I should do a jump cut while I do that. Okay, back again. Now uh, we're on the desktop here. So what we want to do now is to go find the. Uh, the schematic and we're going to go to the roaming folder so I'll go forward slash no percentage app data percent and it's in the roaming folder roaming minecraft uh, config world edit and schematic so there we go and the file is called shippy which is there and we're going to copy that to the desktop so we'll stick it there I've already got it copied so overwrite it so there it is there so now the next job is to open up Google or Google search or whatever so I use Google for this and I haven't got the actual website available but what you, all you need to do is just type in FTD blue print con con -ver and there it is at the top is the blue uh, FTD blueprint modification tool github pages and that's it uh, basically that long address at the top there so here we are this is the website you need to go to and here is where you load up the schematics you can you can load up the schematic and also once the ship has been converted you can keep re-uploading uh, the blueprint because it will convert it to a blueprint uh, so what we'll do is just load up hang on, go to open blueprint schematic there and we'll go to desktop which is here and we'll go find shippy schematic open that and here it is and uh, do a 3d preview of what it is and there it is that's the uh, the ship all in there. And there are a few objects on the ship which will not convert. I mean, if, you, if you're going to convert a ship, then don't do a full interior because it will not work properly. And also, judging by that arrow there, you see the arrow there is facing to the right, so the ship needs to be rotated to the right to make it sure it's facing forward. Because the arrow is facing forward and the ship is facing to the left of it. So it needs to be rotated to the right. So what we're going to do, uh, to convert the ship, we'll close the 3D preview. We'll go to Block Modifications. Uh, and this is where you can convert everything, uh, all the materials. And on the right here, it has the block count and filter. Basically, it tells you what the ship is made of. It is made of uh, stone at the moment, because usually if a ship is made out of wool, uh, which is majority of the case in my ships, uh, it converts in stone. Or I think it, it happens with pretty much every every object you use in Minecraft, it will convert it as stone. So that's what I've done anyway, or that's what it does anyway. So it's converted it as stone, which is one of the heaviest... Uh, objects you can use or materials so we'll go across here and we'll convert the uh, stone tick the box convert stone to metal which is what I normally do and retick it and also we'll go down to the vehicle modification tool down here and we'll go rotate the ship turn to the right and that will uh, that will rotate the ship in the right direction so once we've got that done the ship is pretty much ready to convert so we'll go down to add modification and download click that and we'll save it as Modified shippy schematic blueprints. That's pretty much what it was save as you can call it what you like and just hit save And that's that bit done there. So now we have 
it on our desktop as the schematic and what we want to do then is to go to the documents folder and find from the depths player profile well, that's your, your player name constructibles and that's where your, all your ships are so what we do is just copy the schematic or the blueprint now into that folder and that's where it goes so what we need to do now is just load up from the depths and I shall do a jump cut when I do that so back in a second okay back again now we're in from the depths we're at the main menu so we'll go to single player go to vehicle designer I go to launch vanilla as you'd expect and then we can destroy the ship that you get loaded up with uh, so now we're in the uh, vehicle designer move around a bit and what we're going to do go to load vehicle in the player folder and when it eventually loads do 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 uh, there it is at the top modified shippy schematic so we'll click on that and we can load it and it should be as it says there it is the majority of it is stone <laughs> or no it's metal actually the funnel is uh, is made out of lead but the ship is made out of metal and uh, it's sinking but that's a reason for that so it's, at least it's converted we've got it in the game so what we'll do we'll press the B button and we'll pick caps lock and it will raise it out of the water so we're in build mode we'll raise it out of the water and then we can go on the inside and hollow as it is we can put uh, an air pump so we're going to water air pump and plonk it on the kill there so that's the air pump that will keep it from uh, well flooding effectively so the ship will probably still sink because of the materials used but at least now it is drier in here so there's plenty of water still but the ship is <laughs> now rolling over but uh, this is something you got to work on so that is the ship uh, seaworthy to a degree but uh, at least we've got the ship in game so what we're going to do we're going to save that now we're going to save it as uh, the same folder so we'll overwrite that so it's in the uh, 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 in the uh, from the depths directory so we'll just save that and then we'll destroy all vehicles so we'll get rid of it then we'll go back to the website now this one here and we're going to reload uh, I'll refresh it and then I reload so we reload the file, but we'll do it. We'll, we'll load the file that is in the in the documents in the uh, from the depths player directory. So we're just, we're just using the one that we just saved. So I can't remember what we called it. We called it um, the modified shippy one. So we go down and find modified, modified, modified shippy. There it is. So now we reload that, and we will just open up the 3D preview to find it again. And as you can see, it's now along the same lines as the arrow there. I'll get rid of that. So the arrow is now facing the same way as the ship. So that is absolutely fine. So now what we want to do is to make the ship more seaworthy. So basically reduce the weight. So we've got a block modifications tool. And what we're going to do, we're going to convert the the white superstructure to light alloy. So we go to the restrict block modifications to blocks colored. So we'll click, tick on that and then click on the thing and select the white color, which in my case is number one. And we'll click on the convert metal and change that to alloy and that uh, changes that there uh, so this would basically only affect the white blocks now so that uh, is that so what you, what you do then you go down to apply and save and it will download it again and we'll say it's all downloaded and we can minimize that minimize that and minimize that and then the file on the desktop we can now move back across into the constructibles folder and that is modified modified shippy schematic so it just keeps loading and loading and loading right so we now we go back into from the depths and every time you download the new file it it calls it a modified vehicle so the newest one is modified shippy that one and then we reload it because this is a new vehicle so here we go now all the super stretch is white and the ship is still sinking because of uh, how where it is in the water so we'll raise it out of the water again but if we just move over to it the uh, all the white parts are now light alloy so the ship is now converted slightly so now what we need what we need to do is to convert the deck that the deck is made out of metal as well so I'm going to convert that to light alloy as well we're just reducing the ship's weight uh, constantly and also that funnel needs to be changed as well because that's made out of lead and that is pretty heavy so now we've got the ship in, uh, we can actually destroy it again. So we don't, we haven't, we've not made any changes, so we don't need to worry there. 
So minimize from the depths, go back to the website, and then we reload uh, the file from. Uh, can't remember what it's called now. It's called modified, modified chippy. There it is. It's the same one again. So we'll, we'll uh, change the color now. So we're going to change the deck. The deck color is actually zero on mine. So that's that. So basically, just changing that one thing. Add modified, and we'll just change it to shippy now. We'll change the name to shippy. You can get rid of the schematic as well. So I'm just changing the name of it, so it's easier to find. So shippy blueprint downloaded and then what we do plonk it in the con constructibles folder copy there uh, from the depths and then we just load that one up again once it loads la 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 dee 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 dee, and there it is at the top shippy and load shippy and there we go Ooh. and my player has just fallen in the water but the ship is still not quite seaworthy, but the deck is now, as you can see, the deck has changed texture and is now a light alloy. But it's, the ship is still too heavy. Uh, well, I'll just raise it out and see what happens. If the ship is. Will, will the ship float? No, she's still too heavy. So, what we want to do, we're going to find out what colour the, uh, the hull is. I'll just raise it back out again. The hull is actually. Uh, is it 8? It's, yep. Yeah color is 8 so what we're going to do we're going to destroy the ship again as we've not made any changes and for some reason the player is uh, sunk to the bottom of the sea and the lifeboats have fallen off but never mind right so that's that uh, so what we're going to do go back to the website go back to the website and we'll reload the ship get rid of that again so we'll reload the ship again of course it's called shippy now so we need to find shippy 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 shippy, shippy, shippy. Shippy, there. Right, reload Shippy, and what we're going to do now is change the color of the. What we need to find is the hull color is eight, and I'm going to change that to light alloy. So it's basically the same process again. We just change the color, save and download, and overwrite the word Shippy. There we go. Save that. Minimize that. Minimize that. Copy Shippy back to the directory. Overwrite. Go back to from the depths. And we reload the uh, shippy, and hopefully this will work. So click on shippy, load shippy, and there is shippy. All right now, she'll drop it into the water. And as the hull is now uh, a lighter material, it should work. So let's see what happens now. The ship is very much more well. I'll say very much more stable. She's still pig ignorant and sinking again so good god this thing's awkward right, well anyway oh I think I think what's going on there's actually a leak in here oh that's annoying um, um, oh I know why well, the, the 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 air pump's gone oh, oh well let's find an air pump put the air pump back in there we go right so I don't know what happened there the air pump disappeared so now the ship is now on a side, so we're going to, have to rotate her over. Right now the ship is upright. There we go. So now the ship is uh, more seaworthy, but uh, the, the the weight issue now is the funnel. The funnel is made out of heavy lead, so now we're going to change that. But uh, yeah, it's not great. But we'll save shippy anyway. We'll save shippy, overwrite shippy, and then we can destroy shippy. Back to the website, minimize, open, and we'll refresh this so that I don't overwrite too much. So we'll go back in, open Shippy. Uh, there we are. And then what we're going to do, oh, wrong one, we go to block modifications again. And we're going to change the color of the funnel, which is that color. And we're going to change the lead to light alloy as well. There we go, same process again, save and download. Overwrite Shippy. Download Shippy. Minimize that. Copy Shippy into the directory. Overwrite. Back to from the depths. And hopefully it will work this time. 
do 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 and there we are right shippy open shippy and now the ship is actually spinning because it's in the game and there we go the funnel is now uh, a more solid color and uh, actually don't look too bad she's still a bit top heavy but at least she's more stable so basically it gives you the option now you can you'll be able to go inside the ship and uh, add ballast like uh, lead weights and things like that so what's the draft made of the draft is metal normally with my ships I convert that to um, heavy armor to make the ship more stable or more buoyant but uh, it's up to you what you want to do so I'll save the ship again just to make sure and then we can destroy the ship again and we'll do this as a trial anyway so we don't have to follow this as gospel but we'll, uh, uh, we'll res uh, refresh this and open up shippy again where is shippy 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 and block modifications restrict to red which is 15 for me and we'll convert metal uh, I don't really want to use stone or lead so we'll use heavy armor for this one this will probably sink the ship but at least it will bring it more <laughs> upright so convert to heavy armor and same again save and download call it shippy save overwrite all that minimize that copy shippy back to the directory and then we go back in and load up the shippy this is always the longest process because it takes forever there we go load shippy load shippy and the uh, material cost has actually gone up as well because the heavy armor is a very high hit rate so uh, there we go but uh, the heavy armor is yeah the heavy armor is pretty heavy so but you can see it's brought the draft right down so the ship is almost as buoyant as need be so the, the, the draft of the ship is just slightly too heavy so oh, now she's sinking no 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 it is uh, it's not too bad actually the draft is a little bit lower than it needs to be as you can see it's sort of one or two meters roughly um, below the sea uh, below where it needs to be so the ship is slightly too heavy still so what I would do in my opinion go back to use uh, um, metal for the ship's draft and then fill the ship with lead armor or heavy armor or whatever for um, compartments ballast and things like that I mean there's no decks inside here so once you've added decks uh, and compartments and ballast and the ship will probably sit better in the water but this is just a rough guide at least now we have a ship which is seaworthy and then once you're in from the depths and everything is all floaty you can start adding engines and all things like that to make the ship uh, operational so I hope that's been a help if this hasn't been any help at all then just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll reshoot this because um, I'm sort of doing this on um, uh, on a, a, a I'll say thin budget sort of thin amount of time so uh, anyhow, there we go and uh, also where it's been converted from Minecraft we've got these schematic border blocks up here so you can remove these ones get rid of that and there's another one in the bow somewhere so we'll go to the one in the bow which was there but it's fallen off so that's fine that's all those blocks gone so that's just removing the other uh, block that wasn't needed so the ship is now seaworthy to a degree and that is pretty much it but uh, hey ho there we go so if you found this uh, all useful then let me know and uh, like subscribe and all that other guff but if not then um, let me know and I'll try and reshoot it later on so uh, we'll see but anyway that is my conversion of uh, or my conversion tutorial from Minecraft to From the Depths hope this has been a help and I will see you later on so this is Rich disappearing and I shall return with another video so uh, bye for now